Very well, my friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. Thanks to a little uh, quick Googling, we have discovered that uh, throwing flour on a fire, a, a grease flour fire, is like really, really bad. So don't do it, ever. Um, to uh, to deal with this particular conundrum, uh, we will say that Persephone, because she didn't roll high enough on her perception, thought that what she had was flour. But in fact, it was sand that was put in the kitchen for the very purpose of putting out grease fires. Um, and that is what hence, Silas threw. Hence why it was on the bottom shelf. Right. Thinking, hence, uh, Silas threw it, thinking it was flour, but in turn, in fact, it was sand. So uh, mm -hmm. that is why that all came to pass the way it did. And now we are back to the top of the order. Typhon, please. Oh, right. Top of the order. All right. Um, we need to get this thing gone. It looks like we have some help, though. Um, I'm going to, I hate to do it seeing Falkron suffer, but, you know, she seems to be okay with suffering. So I will simply use Owl to distract and then have the um, green serpent uh, sort of slither itself up around her leg up her armor and then around her neck as I try to chill touch on her. So this is uh, <clears throat> so he's giving aid on a melee attack. On a ranged attack. On a ranged attack. I'm not sure that that's possible but we will make sure that we know those rules better for next turn so we'll go ahead and say that uh, next, um, next game. So we'll go ahead and say that you do have advantage. Okay. Um, I have a 16 to hit her on that attack. 16 is the meat to beat. Okay. A lovely dose of four necrotic damage. Four necrotic damage has been accounted for. Okay. Very good. I'm sorry. Uh, 16 was actually better than her AC. Okay. Um, Jax, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, Jax is obviously well hidden. He will sneak underneath the table, underneath Falcon's legs. And take a stab mm -hmm. uh, at the woman, creature, whatever you want to call it. All right, make that sneak, please. Uh, 26 to hit. Very <clears> good. For 19 damage. Oh, wow. With a silver plus one dagger. And I would add Fury of the Small for an extra Ooh. four. Wow. Ooh, she did not care for that. 23. In the slightest. In your face. And then I will wow. just disengage. Oh, I hope that's, that's okay. And then I'll just disengage <laughs> to here. So you, just, you stood on the body of the... Oh, were you able to attack... Yeah, I can get into her from, space. From, from the space. Wow, very nice. Because I'm small. That's Jax's turn. Koreana Key. All right. Koreana Key turns to face you, Typhon. Make a will saving throw, please. Ooh. A will save. Uh, sorry. Uh, will. It's a they, they will always there will always be will saves. A wisdom save is what it should have yes. you're, you're just stuck on the will call. It's uh, all right. right. Hey, uh, magical effect. Um, does the 13 pass? It does not, I'm afraid. In that case, I will close my eyes and they will reopen again with a flash and you will see slits where there were once round pupils just for a moment as they give a hardened glare and I bolster myself against this energy and get a plus four to the... Wow. 
uh, save for a total of 17. I just want to double check something because that's a cool thing. I think I might have spoken out of turn. No, I didn't. Okay, the DC was a 14. Okay, cool. Well, you made a... uh, did you uh, okay the uh, the effect is thrown off and then she casts her hand out again the boiling black vines creep out towards you again Make that attack The AC 11, I believe that is not enough with Mage Armor. It is not enough. And Typhon will just laugh a bit and say, weak. <laughs> uh, then she throws two daggers at you. Okay. <laughs> if they both miss, we're going to start calling him mysteriously Teflon, though no one will know what hey. that word means. Oh. Let's see here. Hitting AC. Is it disadvantage since she has uh, enemies and enemies in melee combat and at a ranged attack? I believe the only way that you get a disadvantage in fifth edition is if the person is too close for you to make a ranged attack. Having enemies around does not itself grant disadvantage. Am I correct about that? I. Th- um. He, he did that precursor in 5e and everybody went ooh I, I think uh let's see a thrown weapon when you make a ranged attack with a weapon a spell you have disadvantage on the attack roll if you are within five feet of a hostile creature who can see you and isn't incapacitated well in that case definitely disadvantage let's see how she does shall we Hitting AC 11. Tinks off the bright scales again. Hitting AC 19. That one will pierce. Eight points of piercing damage, please. She reaches and pulls out two more daggers. That is the end of her turn. Rim. Seeing her turned around, Rim will uh, step up to the doorway and bring his, uh, he will bring his, if I can get to it, (laughs) clunky, clunky. He'll bring his quarterstaff down on the back of her head. So you are standing now over the body of this dead guard here? Uh, That is correct, where the, where the uh, spectral weapon is, is, well, should be gone. Yes. Right. I will take Um, it away. Uh, so yes, uh, he's going to bring the quarterstaff down on the back of her skull. All right, so she has a higher AC because you're taking through a doorway, not right in front. So go and right that away. is not an advantage, or is it? It is not an advantage. Okay, then I only get an eleven. I'm afraid. Very good. Uh, uh, that is the end of Rim's turn, unless you have anything else you wish to do. No, that's fine. All right. Falkran, your turn. So I get up and I see her like kind of going like all ham at. Typh- a Typhon and I just sort of stand up spit the blood out of my mouth and go get away from him you bitch and then I go ahead and start by tolling the dead very nice I believe she needs to make a wisdom save yes uh, how does a 20 sound well, yeah, I guess that's pretty great. Right. <laughs> so there's a bong that rings out, and she shakes her head. That was it, dead of time. <laughs> Are you doing anything else, Falcon? Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and bring back my spiritual weapon. Yeah. Bing! I just deleted it. I know. I saw you do that. I was like, Sean, no. <laughs> uh, All right. So it's going to appear uh, in like the space right behind her. Very good. And, uh, uh, okay, so it, it hit for 11. A hit AC 11? A, it, well, no, it, yeah, it hit AC 11. All right, that is not enough, I'm afraid. All right, so swing and a spiritual miss. All right. That is the end of Falkron. Second floor, nothing. 
nothing, nothing. Rhea Mantelmore, nothing. Persephone. All right. Um, do I have any reason to uh, realize that there is fighting going on so far away? From where you are, I'm going to say no. The roaring of the fire and the uh, distance are preventing you from hearing what's going on. Okay. Um, and I do not have the band, the bag of sand right now, correct? No, the sand, the, band, the bag of sand has been thrown upon the fire and is... And, it, and there's nothing left of it. Like, it got no. all used up. Okay. You there's might look more, and see if there's, there's another bag. bag of sand. Or flour. You know, um... Popcorn. I'm just thinking it would be... I'm more worried about my friends than the fire. Um, so... I'm going to tell Silas I'm going to find our friends. Um, and I'm going to dash. Uh, so if I, I think I can make it here if I go out this door. Okay. And that's all I'm doing. Very good. That brings us to... Yeah, there's only Captain Kyber. Captain Kyber in attacks. Missing. Veteran to his side. Attacks. Oh, that was a lot of eights. Okay. <laughs> um, done with them. Uh, that brings us to Silas. Uh, I'm I'm going to try to put the fire out. Okay. Uh, so I'm just um, going to do a quick check if there's any more non-flammable. With the materials. sand that's there, um, and now that the fire has gone down a bit, there is quite a bit of smoke. Um, but by tipping over the table or bringing the book, sh the, the shelving down on the fire and smothering and stuff like that sort of thing, it, if you spend this action working diligently to put the fire out, it has reached a, a size that it is easy for you to do. So uh, that's, put, I'm going to make sure the fire's out. Um, All right. I would hate for Rim to be spitting ice everywhere and just let this one rage uncontrollably. That would right. be right. The fire is out. So that's my action? Yes. Right. Uh, well, let's say you've moved a little bit to get over there. We'll say you're there and the fire's out. Okay. And then I'll use approximately what's left of my movement to get out the door, uh, glancing over my shoulder at Chosric if, if he's still like turtling around. He seems to be conscious, but just lying there, just sort of not doing anything. He's, his, his part in this battle is done. And then I'm done. All right. Back to the top. Typhon. Mm. Um, the uh, spectral green sickly looking snake will be still clinging to her neck, so I will just have it reconstrict upon her to repeat the attack. Um, this time it squeezes tighter, and I have a 22 on the attack. 22 is at a hit. Roll the damage, Doesn't please. actually physically affect her, but she feels the necrotic pain, regardless of seven necrotic damage. Oof. Uh, you see her staggering. Okay. And I forgot to do it before, so I will just have the owl swoop in and out and give advantage on the next attack. Very good. Let's see here. Um, Silas, what's your passive perception? I can tell you that it is bad, and it is eleven. It is eleven. All right, good to know. You walked. You ran through the great hall, correct? I am currently in the great. You're hall. currently in the great Just hall. Just like okay. two steps in. Persephone, you also went through the great hall. She did. Uh, what is your passive perception? Fourteen. All right. Um, there is something happening above you. You hear uh, scraping sounds, um, sort of a, 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 a whirling, winding sound. And you see, uh, as you run in, you you look up, you see a, a dark cloud of some sort of uh, semi-transparent smoke sort of swirling 
above the uh, the banister as you look up, and um, you, little bits and pieces of plaster are falling down as uh, as you and Silas run through this room. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That is Typhon done. Jax. I will repeat the same thing. Go between the legs. He's not stealth this time. Okay. Um, he will try to hamstring her. Very good. With... Where's my attack? I believe it is the first attack since I did the thing, so you still have advantage. Mm -hmm. That's why mm -hmm. I didn't do the thing. 24 to hit. Nice. 24 to hit. Oh my goodness. That is 16 points. 16 points of damage. Piercing damage. She goes down to one knee. Stands back up. It's time for my finale. How low does she look? Oh. Uh, make a perception check. 22. She looks like she has a scale from one to seventy something. Um, about three. Uh, okay, I will flick the dagger to the other hand and try to go in with the dagger again. Right, you you, you no longer have advantage. Correct. But yeah, come on, sixteen to hit. <laughs> 60 is the correct AC. Uh, that is, and it's only two points of damage, though. Oh, oh hang on. No. How did I get... Hang on. No, no, no. no. Hang on. How, did, how did I get eight? So it's two plus six. So that, no, that I rolled it so it would be a two plus the one dagger. It would be three. Three. That is exactly enough. Wow. The final blow is yours, Jax. What do you, how do you wish to well, do this? Obviously, he goes in to try and hamstring her. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. And he'll go back in no, and no, try no, she, The hamstring hit. She went down oh, okay. to one knee. And she's like, my, time for my finale. And as she tries to get up, I'm just going to stab her underneath the jaw. In, <laughs> with the needle. It cracks through the skull, pinning the mouth closed. She's trying to say something. And she falls forward. And like, finale this, Leaning bitch. on Falkron. Leaning on Falkron and sliding to the floor. And the two, Kyberian and the, the other guard go, Wow! <laughs> that was amazing! I know! <laughs> I'm just gonna. It'll stand up like really excited and probably headbutt. Um, Falkron's groin. Right, <laughs> Rim, Rim gives him a low five. Well, if I'm, they, I'm if underneath they clap uh, enough, Falcon, Can she so. come back for an encore? I uh, don't think you want that. No. Rim, it is your turn. Um, I look at uh, uh, I look at uh, I look at Jax and I say, "Where's the quickest way to the ladies' room?" Oh, I found a secret passage. Follow me. And uh, if, if, if I could still move, with... so. Right, I was gonna say if we are uh, if we're done with combat here, if we can all collectively go in that direction. Well, we're still under the aegis of this initiative count. Things are happening. Okay. Uh, Although most of them have been taken care of. So, um, Jax, with now that combat has ended in this room with a passive perception of seventeen, the explosion seems to have loosened this gaming table, and you are fairly certain that there is a secret door underneath it. Oh. Oh, what's this? If I've seen that, then I'll move over, because I, I had like a little bit of movement left. Okay. So I'll go and have a look. You open it, and there is a ladder descending. Well, this isn't the right way to the ladies' room. Can you see what's down there? I'll look down. Um, you see the ladder goes down about 15 feet, and there is a uh, stone floor at the base. I can only see the floor. Right? Yeah, I have, yeah. Well, I can see the floor. So we know, can we just determine where it come from? The Obviously, we know it come from underneath, but I mean... Yeah, the explosion? Probably, yeah. Um, it was... It seemed to encompass this entire area. Um, from where you are, you do not see evidence of any explosion. You just felt it. Uh, okay, well, that's my action done, so... Okay, that's end of Jack's rim. Okay, 
I, I will say where to the lady, uh, where to the lady's room. Um, can you? <laughs> Sorry, can you the it's out there, and then there's a secret door on the left. Falcon couldn't find it, but you might be able to. <laughs> okay, um, I will. Uh, I will dash into the room. 20, 30, 40, uh, and I'll try to find the door. Or has, um, has it been well, open? as you come into this room, you see oh. that this door that was secret before is now completely on the other side of the room. Um, it's fallen here. There's a uh, uh, dust in this room and a little bit of smoke coming out from the opening that the secret door has left. Oh, uh, do I sense, can I tell if there's a, is, is it just destruction or is there a fire there or what's happening? There's no fire, just destruction. Oh, okay. All right, then uh, then I will uh, continue to go up the stairs. All right, so in you go. All right. This is 30. If I'm dashing. You uh, cannot move diagonally around corners. So, right, so that would be 40. 50, 60 would take me to the top of the stairs. Very good. And there you are. All right. That is Jack's done. Uh, Rim done. Falkron. All right. So, Sean, there is still a fire in this, like, chorus room, right? The choral room? Yes? Chorus room. It's a chamber music room. Yes, there is still a fire. Um, um, it does I not died. seem to be... <laughs> yeah, sorry. it does not seem to be catching very well on the carpet in here. Um, it's there are two guards for that. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, exactly. That's why I was like, so I'm gonna look to the the two the ta the two guardsmen and say, put that out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and follow Rim. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and head five in my very slow fashion. Um, and then, did Jax, where's Jax at? Is he? Um, he is just stepped right on there. him. Oh, he's, where's Jax at? Squash oh, there he is. There Ow. He is. And then, uh, uh, and then I'm bringing my uh, my hammer along with me. So very good. I thought it was going to hit me with it. <laughs> no, actually, I, I turn to you, Jax, and I say, "Thank you for killing her." Oh, that's all right. I, I really should go down, shouldn't I, and have a look? Go down where? Uh, it will like look at a pointer under the table. Oh, with a well, yes. Now that it has been revealed to you, and also with your passive perception, Falcon, mm. yes. And as a dwarf, you are able to easily see that there is a passage here that was hidden. Uh, uh -huh. Aha! Yeah. Well, I thought I better point it out because I know you struggle with finding them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean, you say as a dwarf, I'm like. Is he though? <laughs> All right. Um, is that what? What else are you doing there, Falcon? Um. Oh. I, I, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna hang out. Uh, so I, I took my movement. I'm gonna hang out here, and uh, we still have an uh, an action. You can do another move, or you're uh, muted, action, Ryan. or you're muted. Apologies. All right, uh, so I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to do a dash action then, and then go ahead and move uh, up to the secret passage, the one that goes up to the chambers. What is your speed? Uh, Twenty-five. So. Put you here. There. Lovely. Sorry for moving you. Um, no. Right. Second floor elite. Right now they can do something. And then I do move my hammer up uh, the thirty feet to follow me as best I can. Okay. All right, cover for me while I make some rolls. There's now a lot going on. Oh, goodness. I mean, goodness. Well, thank there's, goodness. There's stairs going up and stairs going down. And... Well, thank goodness there's a lot going on right now because before we were just so terribly bored. I know, there's nothing to do. <laughs> it's all work, 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 work. work all the time. <laughs> ah, get out of my head. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wondering. I, again, I have to, I have to wonder if, if Falkern saw all that. 
Right, the business. islets and the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. like it's if, okay. I'm old. Uh, v, the TV series. Yeah. Right. Roll a perception okay. yeah. check, Falcon. In it, <laughs> I'll, I'll hey, take uh, it. To see if you know B, the series. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's that's history. That's history. Uh, uh, fifteen. Is, is it? Can, yeah. I'm going to say it's more difficult than that. To recall, you were in the, the, you were in the process series? of fighting. Oh. Um, ah, fair enough. Fair enough. No, I was. Uh, I was more in. I, I love this moment of where uh, where Typhon drops into the room, and I'm just like. I'm saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, huzzah. Oh, no, but it, and then he just I, was I drew two fantastic. pretty important attacks from you. Oh, no, you, you were did. fantastic. <laughs> the, the taunting worked. <laughs> oh, no. That really did work, because I think Sean was, like, personally attacked by the taunting. Oh, yeah. Well, well, no, I'm going to bring that up. <laughs> she had all kinds of tricks up her sleeve, but... Uh, Wasted them all on a boar mage. Okay, I am done upstairs. That brings us to well, that Persephone. You say there's nothing going on upstairs? Is that what you mean? No, nothing. Not a thing's going on upstairs. Yeah. It's perfectly, perfectly I can fun. relate. You guys want to check out the basement, right? Some tea. Um, <laughs> so this smoke, it does. It looks magical and like malicious. It's not like smoke from a fire or something. Yeah, it was moving way too fast to be smoke. Okay. Um, and you saw it as you were running. You saw it moving down the uh, hallway. In and you heard what direction? Shouts also. In what direction? Going towards the ladies' chambers. So, west. Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll follow it. Uh... So uh, this was happening. Above you, I just want to make sure this you were you were going oh. through the great hall and you were able to look oh, up. Oh, so because you, it because it has it looks two down. levels. Got it. So um, you didn't see anything, uh, any any person, let us say, but you saw a nimbus of something surrounding them. Got it. I thought I forgot it. Was, I could see up to the second floor uh, in this room. Um, if only you okay. could like open a portal to a different dimension. I know, but I don't. I don't <laughs> want to escape. I don't want to waste it. Ah! Um, to save your aunt. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> but maybe. Oh crap! Um, and this is where the tapestries are, right? To climb. Yep. And how much movement does it take to climb? I uh, just it's it's uh, considered difficult terrain unless you have a climbing speed. Uh, I don't. Uh, so, how much? Uh, so from where you part. are right now, it would take you, it would take you, eight squares of movement to get to the top. And I heard screaming, right? Mm -hmm. I like okay. Um, I'm gonna use the cloak to. Oof. Where are you going to? So, um, the the reason why you didn't have to do any um, identify or anything like that on this is because as he was giving you this, he, he basically told, told you me. what it was. And the uh, the command word is Pinky. What are we going to do today, Pinky? <laughs> Transport to my aunt's room. Um, Got to figure out why macaroni and cheese taste so we're orange. No. We're going to go to the ladies' room. I just, just, just want to let Zork. you know, Dimension Door. Dimension Door, the spell, is not Misty Step. Have you looked it up? No. Dimension Door allows you to teleport 500 feet. Oh. You don't even have to know what's there. Oops. You just say 500 feet. Cape of the Monte Bank. Hmm? Or, or less. 500 There's feet or less. 500 door. feet or less. It allows you to take one person. Okay, uh, I guess I will. Well, grab Silas. I would grab, yeah, go to Silas, grab him, and then teleport to the room. You want to use it now? Uh, <laughs> okay, that's no problem. You do what you want to do. You're I don't want to do anything. Um, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to. You don't no. have to do it. But th that's what you want to do. That's perfectly fine. I just this is this is a one and done. It right. could be it, this could this could make or break the fight either way. You save it for later, it could make it. You use it now and get up there really fast could make it. Which it, it's a I just want to make sure you understand. So, 
what happens is she like goes pink, and then she decides to climb up the. the okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys didn't get to hear Gathered Stag say pinky, but... Um, so you climb up, so it's 20 feet up. Um, that is two points of movement for each square, which gets you to the top. Um, and you still have an action or a move, I believe. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you, so you get to the top and you still have two squares of movement to use. I'm going to go ahead and dash to the door then. All right. Well, uh, before you do that, allow me to reveal what you see. Uh-oh. Must you? I must. <laughs> Let's see here. In the hall, you see a fearsome man, tall, muscular, with cruel-looking features. At first glance, his only protection seems to be a butcher's leather apron, but a cloud of swirling, semi-translucent smoke hisses around him. As he walks, you can see he's wearing some sort of spectral armor covered in wicked-looking spikes. Claws, teeth, and weapons of every sort roil about in the cloud, ripping chunks of masonry and wood from the hallway and from the people combating him. He turns towards you, and he's clutching a deadly spear, and his right hand is cloaked in black. It seems to be completely covered in anti-light. You dare to stand against the Lord of Darkness, Bane! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Fairy Fire on him. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, dexterity save? You just cast Healing Word. <laughs> on him, no, no. Uh, just kidding. Fairy Fire. Uh, yes. Dexterity save, yes. yes. Do, 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 do. A 13. 14 is my save DC. Ah. ah, so he immediately begins to sparkle. What color is your fairy fire? Pink. Pink. He is fairy fired and sparkly. How long does it last? It lasts, I think, a minute. Uh, yes, you? concentration for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so concentration is up. Um, this little light of mine, um, <laughs> I'm going to put, uh, sorry, this on you to remind you that you are concentrating. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very good. Um, that is your turn unless you have a bonus action. Nope. Actually, I'm sorry. I, if I threw my dagger, is that, can you use your dagger bonus action in that same capacity? Hmm. Like your yes, offhand you can, weapon. Actually. Yep. Absolutely. So I'm gonna throw my dagger at him, and I guess at advantage. Um, and oh wow! Ah. Well, the 23 definitely hits. Yeah, well struck. And so we'll take that five piercing damage. And where did my dagger end up? In him or on the ground? Uh, it's on the ground. It hits him, and he just sort of bats it down. Cool. On the ground, it is. Persephone, is that you done? It is. Good. Captain Kyberin and the other guard begin to battle the fire. Silas! You just just saw Persephone do a little dance of a decision and climb up the tapestry. I just came (sighs) dead. Climbing back up. Right, um, so that is just regular climbing. You're moving at uh, dis- uh, what's the word? Uh, Half difficult, ter- difficult terrain. So going twenty feet up, difficult terrain, and then you appear next to Persephone. Actually, a little further back, and that would be forty feet of movement. So then. 45, 50, 55, 60, and I'm done. Yeah, it would be 45, 40 feet of movement. 
What's your speed, Persephone? My speed is 30. Right, so you would not have been able to get up to their and cast fairy fire, I'm afraid. So I'm going to go back in time and say that you got up there and you it took all of your movement took took a movement and a dash to get to the top because it's 40 feet up okay cool so sorry for the confusion that's all right and but i have my dag- spell slot though <laughs> you are no longer concentrating you have that spell slot back and my dagger is, and your dagger and no 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 you, no, you would have got your dagger you off. were able to bonus action throw your dagger Oh, okay, then I keep that. And your first attack was the one that hit, so we won't worry about the advantage. At cool. All, so, all good. Uh, that's Silas. So, Silas, you were there. Anything? I climbed up. I don't have much range going on with this big giant stick that I've got, so I'm all done. All right. I, I, uh, I used my movement and my extra movement, so. Back like I said, to, I'm just running back and forth. I'm just back to the top of the order. Somebody key the Benny music, huh? But what music? Yakking sax. I like it. Um, the next up we have is Typhon. Hey, everyone was yelling about going back to the top, right? Is that what I heard? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. Then I will move here, and I think I can see up to the balcony from there, right? Yes. Yes. DM? Okay. And I will um, bonus action um, uh, disappear in a cloud of green smoke and reappear up at the top. Ah. Misty Step. Misty Step is still up, still up. Um. I mean, I have one more. So. Okay. Cool. So you're up there. Okay. And then fifteen. 30 and I believe I can see the combat yes you can at this point in which case do I have the range oh I do I will cast my signature chill, chill touch with the spectral green snake at the thing unfortunately it will only come in at a 10 which I'm 10 quite is sure is not successful okay um we'll just have my owl fly its darndest and get to about there and that will All be right. my turn Jax okay uh, Jax will move and then dash and will be here I don't know if you can see me pinging mm-hmm. I know you've got to move okay. my that's 60 foot of movement let's see so you've you've not gone down the uh... no he was I'm in an R in but alright one Two, three, four, five. You go past Falkron. Yeah. Seven, eight. Does, doesn't nine, cost me any movement. And sixty so takes me five foot through the door. Takes five feet for you. So you're. <clears throat> we'll just say you're right there next to Rim. Okay, so that'd be fifty-five, and then sixty. Sixty and, right there. And then I will bonus action move again to so five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30 to there. That's all, right. all, that's all I can do. You hear the sounds of furious combat coming from outside. Okay. All right. Rim. Um, I will follow Jax. Uh, and um, can I can I pick him up uh, as I as I go past? Um, you can. Um, I'm going to say that that is up to Jax. If you wish to resist, then he has to make an attack. If you do not... As I'm he passing, I'll say, fancy ride. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, so I'll grab him if I'm dashing. Um, this is 35, 40. Uh, 45 will take me into the room. All right. That was me again. All right. In you go. And there you see Thedra Green, just like, ah, ah, ah. And again, the green uh, vines begin to appear on his hand as you come in. Do you know you? You were here before. Oh, you've got a really poor memory. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, it's, uh, there seems to be something happening outside. I don't know what to do. 
ready yourself. And uh, I will draw my bow and uh, prepare for uh, an attack. All right. So you are holding an action. Yes. Very good. You moved... 45. 45. What is your speed? 30. That's the... I, I couldn't do an action this turn because uh, I dashed. Oh, so you can't So you room. can't hold an action. I can't hold an action. No, right. I'm just, I'm I got just it. Okay. readying my... Yeah, thank you. Fulcrum now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run uh, up the stairs and then take my dash action to get me uh, across the room. Um, but I'm going to come to this door, Sean. Okay. I believe I, I, believe I can make it. So, five, ten. And then that puts me, I don't know if you want to flip me to the second yep. level. Bloop. Yaha. All right, lovely. And then I'm going to uh, open that door. Door is locked. Curses. Uh, I'm then going to go ahead and just take the last five of my movement to head towards Rim and then uh, bringing my spiritual weapon uh, up along with me. So I think the spiritual weapon will actually be like on that first landing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boop. Right? Boop. All right, love it. Uh, and and that is me. Okay. Oh, Thurtek! He has a nasty-looking spear. He makes two attacks on the guard facing him here who falls in a clump I need to start or stop hiring level one guards <laughs> but these guards are actually pretty beefy they've just taken some they've taken a lot of damage you know you think being guard guards like a, yes, yeah, a the, double, the double the double guards. least be too <laughs> all right uh Pedrier hears the sound. He hears cries of pain from outside. He turns to you. Uh, are you hurt? Oh, no, I'm all right. He looks to you, Rim. Are you hurt? I'm all right. Well, fine. He brings his hands together, and there is a brief glow of green energy that, that surrounds him, and you two are blessed. Ooh. Oh, that's tingly. Aww. <laughs> so we'll call that a blessing. Ha ha ha. So that's a D4 to all attacks and saves. That is him done. Animated armor standing at the door. And Mantlehorn attacks. She slashes twice with her longsword and. But first, she needs to make a save. Okay. The uh, swirling, um, the swirling cloud of uh, um, just teeth and claws and weapons that are just coming in and out of this semi-translucent smoke around uh, this particular individual is doing damage it's scraping the walls around him it's ripping up the carpet around him and it's ripping into the body of the uh, the bodies of the two uh, guards just sort of turning them into hamburger and it's also they're also uh piercing uh Rhea. she stands and just withstands it it's just for El Terrell! and she just keeps attacking but all of her attacks fail just as El Terrell did. Persephone, your turn. Can I make a perception check to see if there's hardwood under the carpet? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. This um, is nice. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire on that dude, just like I wanted to. Okay. I'm going to go back and do And he failed his deck save, and it hit him. Well, he has advantage, so give me a moment failed the first time. I don't think he'll fail again. 
Well, what does a 10 get me? A fail. <laughs> Yay. Okay. He begins um, to glow with a pink light. He looks down. And where's my dagger? Could you ping it? <laughs> sure. Ping. Can I get there without being like hamburgerified? You will be within the effects. Uh, so this this um this swirling this swirling uh, vortex of pain. Let me just double check. I want to make is that, sure. Is that a five foot radius? What is that? It is extending 15 feet beyond him. Okay, then that's all I'll do for now. Okay. I was just double. He has an aura up that I can see, but I was just wanting to double check. No, we can't. Does see it. it go through? The animated armor is sitting there like, ow, ow. Yeah. Ow, <laughs> yeah, it ow. does, doesn't it? <laughs> um, sorry, I need to look something up very quickly. I did not anticipate this going this particular way. But I think given who the players are, there's all kinds of ways that it could go. I mean, Persephone was going to take the floor out from under him a moment ago. (laughs) Not a bad suggestion. Not a bad suggestion. It could have been interesting. Oh man, she had like she had like ripped the carpet up and just did that big like. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder if there's a basement here. We found hardwood under mm. our carpet in our almost hundred-year-old home. Oh! You can say what you want about millennials, but we are not the people who put wall-to-wall carpeting over hardwood. I don't think you're millennials. Come on. We're the. We are. We are. Elder millennials. Elder oh, millennials. <laughs> <laughs> it does not say anything in the text of the spell that says whether or not uh, this particular spell penetrates through walls. So I'm going to say that it does not. Otherwise, that makes things a lot more interesting. Um, that is Persephone done. So Catherine Stag staggers out from around the corner with his sword, still looking poison, steps into the cloud, and his slowed movement from the poison seems to slow again, although none of you can see this. And he begins to slowly make his way towards the fellow. But he he only gets to there. Silas. I am going to advance. Uh, A charge! As I advance, I say a prayer. And pause for just a moment to see if I feel anything come back. And I get to there, mm-hmm. which gives me reach. Yes. But if I've entered into an area effect, then let me know. Um, you have entered into an area effect. Um, this, you are swirling, the swirling vortex of spectral death is uh, ripping at your clothing and trying to pierce your armor. Um, I believe it happens if you start your turn in the only double check. So when you reach the 15 feet out of him, your speed became halved. That's okay. I still have Did enough. that affect you still had enough? Okay. Make a wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom saving throw coming up. what did you roll i crit saved 23 total so you take half of Uh, 15 (laughs) points of necrotic damage oh oh boy what's the rule on that what is half oh uh, round down here round seven all right fair enough and then i attack him all right Cha with is you have is advantage current, because he has, has, has very you have engaged, yeah. Please 
24 total to hit. Oh. 24 is a hit. Roll the damage, please. And seven, and that is a magic weapon. Yes. Very good. And just let me do a quick calculation. I came up, I was right next to Persephone when my turn started. So mm-hmm. that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's my move. My, my total movement got me there through the two squares of difficult terrain that I did an attack. I don't guess I can do a bonus of anything worth doing. Wish I could pull up my shield of faith. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Pardon. Uh, you're right. You're done. That brings us to the top of the round. Typhon. All right, Hawk. Are you up for a little experiment? And I will send him forward <laughs> into the aura to see what happens. As soon as he reaches the top, <laughs> he bursts in a cloud of uh, feathers. Does he really take damage from entering it? Yes. Okay, cool. Good. That's what I was hoping to find out. It's cool. Um, I'll see you in a moment. And um, then I will stay outside of that. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, make uh, well, I'll just make my chill touch. This is an advantage, right? He's still fairy fired, he is. But uh, before you do that, I do need to make a roll because he took damage, which means let's make a concentration set. Which he succeeds, okay, okay. Let's see if we can change that. Um, <laughs> Persephone has to to comfort RPG. <laughs> it's okay. It was it wasn't a real bird. <laughs> We're never going to send you into a. Is there a body either? And just so you know, when it when it hits it, it just like it it just disappears like it was never there. It doesn't like burst into feathers or it dies. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just glad Typhon just wasn't with us. I'm just glad Typhon wasn't with us when existence. the kitchen went up in flames because kitchen, flames, here's a bird. I wonder what Typhon would have done with that. Well, come on now. Um, it's, it's to protect everyone. He's fine. He's fine. He's just somewhere else. Um, I will do the chill touch. Probably better attack. than being in he's, that He's again. in a better place. Yeah. I'm afraid that that does not uh, succeed with an eight. Yeah. Uh, 14, that is, yeah. is a vantage, isn't it? Well, no, it was, it was the four, 14. 14, I'm assuming. 14. Oh, I'm sorry, 14. Hit. 14 does not hit. Okay. I will I will advance a bit to about here, and then okay. that will be the extent of my turn. Jax, your turn. Okay. Uh, Jax was like looking at that door thinking he's not going to be allowed to go out there this time. So he's actually on Rim's shoulders. He will go back through the door. So 5, 10, and see Falcon. 15, 20, 25. Uh, check the door. It is locked. Uh, he will get out his key and try and open it. Very good. It fits and unlocks. Okay, he'll walk in. All right, let me reveal That's that five, for you. 10, 15, 20, 25 so far. Uh, this appears to be a men's closet, although there are two. Oh. It, it's much more... Um, uh, utilitarian than the ladies' closet. Uh, there are no mannequins and dresses. It's very just you know, these are your clothes. There's a mirror. Here's something you can sit on, tie your shoes. But there are two chests. I was hoping I could get out, but uh, uh, it'll, it'll go like... in and uh, just can you see any secret doors or anything? Make a investigation check. Oh, investigation. Oh, well, a lot less than that. <laughs> so that'll be uh. Four, five, four, five. I'm afraid you do not find any secret doors. Okay. Um, and then we'll head back out. So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And we'll don't go... forget about. I think the bless applies to skill checks as well, does it not? Uh, I don't know. Does it? No. It does no? not. Just saves. Okay. Uh, he will do a dash action back into where Rim is. Okay. Uh, Realising that was a failed action. And I, oh, shall we go out and help? Yes, I think so. Um, 
knowing that Rim is next. Uh, he'll look to Thedo. Uh, so, shall I open the door? He looks absolutely petrified. I'll open the door. And you, hear, you, hear yeah. the sound, you hear coming from this door the sounds of just scraping metal, just sounds of like uh, bodies being ripped up, uh, screaming and yelling. You hear Rhea for Elderell! And she's just standing in the middle of this maelstrom, taking it and fighting with everything she has. Yeah, he'll, um, he'll just open the door. And she just open the door. Oh, okay. I can't do anything but, else. So. Please roll a dexterity saving throw. A dexterity? Okay. The both of us? Um, Am I within reach? Of cannot that thing? see you. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the deck save for? It is for the spiritual guardians. Spiritual guardians? Ooh. Uh, um, 11. 11. Okay. You take 14 points of necrotic damage. Ow! Oh, God. As does the, let's see the armor. Don't the like armor it. Takes what was that? What was that from? Was that from his aura? It's from the uh, this cloud of uh, swirling smoke and uh, claws and just oh just from that awfulness. from that creature there, yeah. Yes. Am I am I in, in that reach still? It's a fifteen foot. Fifteen feet. Oh wow. Okay. You open the door. Yeah. And you're just assaulted by it, just. <laughs> It's like these little tiny demons just like ripping into you. Um, the armor didn't save, unbelievably. So it takes that much damage. All right. Um, now that can I bonus saved. action? And I could still get a shot off though, can I? Because I've only moved 60 foot. That's a move, a dash. So you moved. So I, I moved. But you did an there. investigation. You did an oh, investigation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you, yeah. You know. That's right. I still think you should have dressed up like Lord Raven Guard and just prove to everyone <laughs> that you're just a polymorph. Are you done? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I was going to lift the chest. Your turn. So I'm going to step back because um, <laughs> that cloud looks crazy. Um, I'm going to stand. So it's just here. basically just blowing in through the open door now. It's not you. You weren't in the cloud itself. Yes. Um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to take a shot at him, blessed. And at advantage. Oh, um, so, my two shots here. Uh, well, I've got a 25. Um, oh, I'm going to uh, transfer my um, Hunter's Mark to that uh, awful All right, creature. So that's a bonus action? That's a bonus action first. Okay, um, and then... I'm going to see if I crit. Marked. Okay, so uh, the second one did not crit. So, 25... For um, that would be a twenty-nine with the bless, for six points of damage plus bonus ouchies of uh, another five, so eleven points of damage. Eleven points of damage, very nice. Let me make a con save. That is a natural one. Uh oh. oh. And oh, he takes the arrow. It, it manages to find a chink in the spectral armor that he has, and it, it w shakes his head for a second, looks down at it in confusion, and that confusion is enough to make the swirling vortex of doom disappear. Yay! Yes! So let me Woo! just take care of that. Done. All right. That is Rim done. Falkron. Huzzah. Sean, what are the walls made of? They're where you are, they're made of stone. Does it matter, Falkron? <laughs> no, it does. I was I was kinda hoping to like Kool-Aid man my way. Oh into the yeah. Hallway. If if they're made of <laughs> if they're made of stone, Falkron wouldn't know that there was a wall. That's yeah. true. That's true. If they were made of stone, I'm just like, why is this floor vertical? All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So knowing that they're made of stone, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get through that easily. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hoof it towards the door. 5, 10, 25 puts me there. Uh, and then 
can I uh, so in order to get through I can I get through where the armor is Sean I can um I, since you can it, it costs you extra movement but you can't get through unless there's a you can move through your uh your allies spaces but you can't move through an enemy space so figure out a way to move that uh keeps that in mind <laughs> yeah right so figure it out man <laughs> figure it out man all right awesome sauce well then um oh you know what I'm gonna say well I'll go ahead and just uh, stand back here. Um, and so but that puts me into dash uh, dash world. So um, that leaves me only my bonus action, which will be to summon my hammer from the floor below and bring it back to me. So. <laughs> Let me just take care of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boop. Boop. Love it. Excellent. There and it is. Uh, that will be me. It is Haskey's turn. Well, let's see. He does not like that. <laughs> Let me check and see how many spell slots he has left. I'm certain he has none left. Uh, he's going to fall under this prevailing force before him. In fact, he should just run away right now. He should <laughs> just, he should just run. He should, he should dimension door, right on out. Just going right <laughs> out of there. Okay. Hypoth. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hypoth. Tim, five hundred feet away. There you go. What was we, the we missed what you said, Falcon. <laughs> oh, I'm you so said, sorry. You got is matrixed. It, is it uh, is it possible to put the cloak on on the, the bad guy, say Pinky, and then send him 500 feet away? No, let's kill him. I mean, no. <laughs> uh, I didn't think that's how that's how Dimensional Door works. I mean, you've been kind of condescending lately. You could take the cloak, put it on Jax, and tell Jax to do it, and with the full weight of condescension, see if he does it. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's Typhon. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was the slow build. How's it going, Sean? Rhea crumples to the ground. Oh. Um, the uh, spear pierces her. She, oh, she drops both of her weapons and falls to her knees. Um, she appears to be bleeding to death. That was one attack. He then takes a step towards you, Silas. And he attacks you with his spear. I'm going to go ahead and take away his concentration. He's still radioactive, though. He's still radioactive. That's the hunter's mark. <laughs> <laughs> and he attacks. AC 20. Yeah, that is. You just took four points of piercing damage and 11 points of necrotic. Jeez. Oh, 15 total, you say. All right. That is his turn done. Fedrir casts Healing Word on Rhea Mantelmorn. Oh, good. Who comes up to... There. All right, and is no longer unconscious, but she is prone. That is his turn. Animated armor steps out and attacks. With the AC 12, which is not enough. Has he got um, advantage as well? He does not. Uh, wow. Silas, as he stepped into your Wait, area, do... now that you are close to him, a feeling of terror begins to creep up your back of your neck. And you feel your hands begin to tremble in spite of yourself. Um, however, he is glowing pink, and it seems to take a little bit off of this terror effect. Um, so the two things might be equaling themselves out. That is the end of the animated armor's turn. 
Rhea Mantelmorn stands to her feet. Mm. For the glory of El Terrell! And she rushes forward and makes three attacks. She picked up her long sword and her short sword. She strikes twice with her long sword and once with her short sword. All at disadvantage. Oh wait, no, not a disadvantage because it's just all yeah. regular attacks. Both the long sword attacks missed, but the short sword did not. All right, that brings us to Persephone. All right, um, so I'm going to come in to here and I'd like to pick up my dagger, which I imagine mm -hmm. is pretty much right there, yeah? It's right at his feet. Great, um, was that, can that, is that like a free action or? Yes. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna hit him with my rapier. As you move into that space again, you, you feel the uh, the uh, terror, Bane, the Dominator, is just. You feel the power of this god looking down upon you from beyond, and it's just trying to push you down, down, down. Submit. But this guy is glowing pink, so <laughs> it's not quite as effective. A twenty-two does hit. Um, I'm going to, just in case I get a crit, roll my advantage. Um, you have no advantage. Because it w I would be at disadvantage. Okay, got it. Right. Um, and then I'm going to hit dagger. Oh, my dagger. God. Dagger. Very nice. I got 20. Dirty so 20. both of us a total of eight, uh, 18 points of damage. Oh, nice. Give him a Posado, Ryan, just so you know. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. So Catherine Stag finally makes it. <laughs> uh, uh, he can't. Okay. Uh, he tries to attack around the corner. Let's see how he does. <laughs> this is. Come on, Captain. So is it being close to him that's cancelling out the advantage? Yeah. Right. Okay. He misses three times. Um, <laughs> that was very disappointing. Um, Captain Kyberin. But now the fire is out. And that brings us to Silas. I say a prayer to my lady Vandria. Quickly in the way that I would have done to do a lay on hands to see if there's any reaction. There is not. Uh, then I do a second wind. Mm -hmm. Gritting my teeth, realizing that oh, nice. that didn't Ooh. get me a reaction. I will use second wind to get back nine points. Uh, bringing me up to there. So you didn't. You, so you didn't actually spend an action trying to do lay on hands. No, I just okay. felt it and reached out for the energy, and not feeling the energy. And uh, lay on hands is a bonus action. Got it. Um, failing that, I used a true bonus action. Got it. No, I got it. I'm being dramatic, Sean. Work with me. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to attack him. Do I have advantage, given that he's been fully engaged and he's going big? Nope. You would if you five foot step back though. Uh, that that'd be a disengage. Five foot. But he he hasn't he hasn't used a reaction, so that would attack up uh, incur an attack of opportunity. For a five foot, I don't know. I'd be moving out of his range, okay. not my range. That five foot adjustment does not exist in fifth edition. If you move out of an opponent's yeah. uh, range, no matter what you take, unless it's uh, forced movement. And that's an eleven to hit. With eleven does not hit. And then I'm done. Typhon. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Not much to do, but just continue trying to constrict him. So do that, I will. The oops. So that first, that second 
pair of rolls was really good, but it was a double click. So um, 16 is going to be my high. 16 is your high. That is one short. Okay. Oh, All right. last. Um, that brings us to, I believe <laughs> that's right. Just double check. Yes, 16. That brings us to Falkrun. What? What? Did I skip? Uh, Jax is next. I, I skipped think. Jax. I am what? sorry, Jax. I skipped <laughs> you. Talk about what? Rage of the what? Small. He'll walk what? out. What? Oh, look, Rim, everyone's here. And I'll pull out my short bow and try to shoot him. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 advantage. 19. 19 hits. And blessed. It would have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 18 damage. Very nice. Oh, I hit him. I'm an archer like you, Rim. <laughs> <laughs> um, Next up, we have. Oops, that should be the GM on that one. Next up, we have. Rim. Rim. Tis I. Tis um, you. I will draw Rim. back my bow and uh, I will take a shot at him. Uh, I will, since I'm still advantaged, I will do both. Okay. Um, neither crit. Uh, the damage is four. <laughs> yes. Uh, plus bonus ouchies of another four, so eight points of damage. Very good. Oh, okay. uh, do you All right. That is... You done. Now it is his turn. That's Falkron's turn. Falkron's turn? Why do I keep skipping people? Falkron! Yes, sir! Alright, so uh, Falkron is going to come out of the room. Sean, can I stand in the square where... Stand in the square where you... No, um, can where he's he dead. <laughs> with the corpse? Or is yes, that... that's fine. Alright, lovely. So, I'm going to shuffle up there and I feel all scared, but he's pink. And I'm going to hit him with my Warhammer. And Ooh. with the 25, uh, and my one handed, yes, uh, that'll, be hmm. ten, that'll be 10 points of damage for that one. Very nice. How do you do? And never mind. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to summon my uh, Spectral Warhammer to me. Two, three, four. Which I imagine five, sounds a little bit like six. Benny Hill music. It's going to get there, I swear. <laughs> All right, that is you done. Now it is his turn. Oh, wait. I know who I skipped. Yes. Appearing behind you, Persephone, is the final imp. He was in another part of the house. Nobody found him. And he's taking this time to fly to where the action is. And he attacks you. Feeling very put out. <laughs> he had such wonderful things planned. Hitting AC 24. <clears throat> seven points of piercing, seven points of poison. Ugh. That's 14 points of damage on Persephone? Yes. Yeah. Jinkies. And it is done. Next, we have Pasuke. Pasuke attacks you, Silas. Hitting AC. 19. Seven points of bludgeoning. Six points of necrotic. And then he attacks Persephone. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> he also needs to make oh, a concentration I do, check. I do need to make a yeah. concentration check. Oh, yes, you check. do. Uh, is that just a d20? Con save. Con save. Con save. You are fine. Uh, uh, it stays up. He hits AC 17. Which I assume hits. Silas. No, it hits, uh, hits oh. Persephone. Oh, sorry. Yes, does hit. All right. So that is eight points of bludgeoning and six points of necrotic. Uh, I am unconscious. Unconscious. Oh, no! goes Persephone. And Fairy Fire winks out. Damn it. That brings us to 
Fedrir Green. Fedrir Green. Steph says, everything all right? Uh, and he casts Healing Word upon Persephone. Persephone, you are healed for six points of healing. You are no longer unconscious and bleeding out. Animated armor attacks at disadvantage. Unless... It is immune to being frightened, so it attacks normally. Hitting AC 17 for four points of bludgeoning damage. Every little bit helps. Very good. He's beginning to look the uh, spectral armor that is surrounding him um, over his uh, uh, butcher's leathers. is starting to sort of show cracks and uh, beginning to fade a bit. That is the end of the animated armor turn. Ray of Mantlemorn attacks. <laughs> All at disadvantage. All missing. 12, 12, and 10. Persephone, you All are right. prone. Um, well, I get up. Okay. Uh, and I guess I'm just gonna rape your dagger. Rape your dagger. Uh, oh my god. 18, 18 is a hit. Uh, so I'm assuming that's the rapier. That is. Okay. And 14 for my dagger. All right. Oof. Those two hits struck something important. You've uh, he, rolled dagger damage, though. It might you be rolled more, dagger twice, yeah. by the way. Oh, I did? Yeah. yeah. You might do more damage with your rapier. Yes, I am sure I will. Uh, so should I just go back and just roll? roll just roll. Just roll a rapier. rapier. It, it hit anyways. So it would have been okay. Oh, it would have been the same. Okay. So five. Yep. Yeah. We're just so fourteen. Five hit. and five. So nice. You managed to pierce right into his side with the rapier, uh, and blood begins to pour out of him. He's snarling. The uh, black, um, the black fist begins to pulse. Did the thunder take him? Oh no! No, no. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> um, I'm just up to thinking, 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 thinking. Persephone, stag stag attacks. Oh, he hit! <laughs> wow! So Gathered Stag just staggering, whirling about, wailing with his, his sword, uh, gets a lucky hit and slices part of this man's ear off. Yeah! Hyperion is making his way up. Silas, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to attack him. Um, do I have any sort of advantage, disadvantage? If you are at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Even though he's completely engaged at all angles. Disadvantage. Sixteen low. Sixteen is the hit. Is it? Oh God, it was seventeen, but I'll seventeen. Take it. Yes, I'm sorry. I missed seven, on a sixteen before, so I was. Yes, wondering I'm so about sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, I've gotten confused right. again. Seventeen is the is the beat to beat. Dang. Then I'm done. All right. That is the end of that round, Typhon. I'll try it once more. See if I can grab hold. I cannot. Um, yes, I'm afraid that the 13 does not succeed. Anything else, no, Typhon? No, that's it. Jax. <laughs> uh, with all these bodies here, yes. and Jax being small, could he potentially be hidden there? Um, Could he hide there? 
You'd have disadvantage, though. Wouldn't you be better doing a ranged attack? From you, away? Well, I'm not in combat with him at the moment, and I can't. But obviously, I with all the bodies, you, I, I will allow you to make the roll. It's going to be a, a high DC. Uh, uh, so, so stealth wise, yeah. Yeah. Okay, he'll stealth with a natural 20. <laughs> 29. <laughs> you burrow <laughs> underneath one of these guards. <laughs> so, so he's not and, moving. Uh, he's not moving. Right. And so when he is there, he's going to like, cr like lay down with his bow, sort of like shuffle across a bit, and he's going to try and shoot his ankles. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I don't know uh, if you work. have advantage because he does not know you are there. Yeah. Love it. For an 18 to 18 hit. 18 is a hit. I've got bless as well, so uh, 15 damage. Oh my. Oh, he I shot him in the Achilles. He looks down at his leg, just. Rah! He's <laughs> staggering. He's barely holding on. Okay, uh, uh, I can't Rim. do much more, so. Bring All us right. home. I'm going to try. All right, Rim is going to uh, draw his bow back, uh, hopefully for one final blow. Uh, poop. Um, that's only going to be a 13 with black. Oh, but no, not advantage, right? He's not pink anymore. Not pink anymore, no. Uh, 13 isn't going to do it. 13 isn't going to do it. You hear Anything else, Rim? I bet they do, Rim. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, no, that's it. Damn it. All right. Final blow Rim, what is your what is your passive? Uh, my passive is sixteen. So oh, the lady's she moved. Right? She's behind yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, you you do not see that. Oh, okay. Do I see her move? Nope. With a passive of seventeen. Nope. Damn it! Did not see her move. Uh, do, 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 do. She's a ninja. I've lost my count. Can I Where try and swing and miss now? <laughs> yes, try and swing and miss. Thank you, Lovely. I, I, that's it. Uh, I want to go ahead and bring my uh, spiritual hammer uh, and then put it... Uh, how high is the ceiling, Sean? 20 feet. Lovely. I'm going to put the spiritual hammer uh, right above myself so I can strike um, this doofus in the head. All right. So let's see uh, if that'll be done. And that's done with uh, disadvantage, yes? Yes. Lovely. Well, no, the, the hammer cannot be frightened, so that regular hit. Yeah, it's a real brave hammer. All right. Takes a swing. Oh, 14, 14 I'm afraid, is does not enough. All right, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't fare any better with an actual hammer. All right, so first one. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is no, with like a shame seven. No, it's a one. Oh. It is a natural one. So it is. Which automatically fails. <sighs> so. And shame, shame. shame. Right. Falkron is done. Pascal Enrel grasps his chest. Dark energy moves from his hand, and some of his wounds seem to close. Oh, crap. You guys got so close. <laughs> but he's still so close. It really, I mean, it could be one blow. But that is his turn. Um, well, that's the good. imp. Damn it. Imp attacks. Persephone, he was very happy to see you go down and then not happy to see you get back up. He attacks again. This imp's gonna. With a natural one. Oh, thank goodness. I that said natural and I panicked. Uh, me too. <laughs> so you saw it coming a mile away, ducked out of the air, ducked out of the way. Let's see. Ducked under the carpet, onto the hardwood. What? Yeah. Happens with shots. Does a 16 hit? Does a 16 hit what? R uh, rim. rim. Me? 16 hit, yes. Oh, uh, it does. Right. 
Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I have to roll some extra dice here. Oh, that, I don't oh, like the sound of that. How many dice does it take? Yeah. Can't say Sneak attack, death. critical, blow, extra damage, 7d6. <laughs> 4d6 plus 4D6. You just took 21 points of slamming damage. Oh my god! Alright, um... That's... What?! Okay, a that's... massive blow comes out of nowhere, just and brings you to your knees. Does that take you out, or are you still up? No, uh, it takes me low, but I'm I'm uh, I'm still still kicking. And she can't do anything. She was hoping that would take you out, but it didn't. Very good. Um. I may I uh, rim roars and uh, and ah. staggers and props himself up against the wall to okay. call attention to the fact that you I'm all just hear that. Here, yeah. Okay, that is the end of that. That brings us to that here. Fedra Green, Fedra Green casts Sacred Flame upon the imp. Impossible. Oh, but it is possible. Things are hitting every day. Oh, wow, that is a powerful Sacred Flame. Okay. The imp all of a sudden is bathed in radiant fire and yeah! wriggles a bit, but is still up. Animated armor attacks. Hitting. Oh! But not doing enough damage. Oh. That brings us to Rhea. Rhea attacks. Disadvantage. Fifteen, twelve, and sixteen. Oh damn! That brings us to Persephone. Uh, I look to Rim, and I'm trying to get a sense of whether or not he needs healing. You can't see Rim, I'm afraid. Ooh. Apologies. Oh, Looking at the zoom screen. Uh, then I'm gonna rapier and dagger. That's so my be it. Uh. <laughs> Seven? How's Seven that, afraid how's that is Nope. Uh, how about a 25 oh, crit? You got disadvantage. The final well blow is yours, Persephone. Yes! Oh, Does she right, have disadvantage? Though. Oh, she has disadvantage. Oh, she oh! has disadvantage. I'm so sorry. sorry. Roll again. I, I noticed it last round as well, and I was like, I forgot. But... That's all right. Just roll again. Yeah. yeah. Oh! <laughs> and the same damage, too. The same yes. damage. <laughs> the final blow is yours, Persephone. All right, uh, since it's with my dagger, I went for a Punto Reverso with my rapier that took his uh, attention to the side and then came in with a supinated dagger right into the stomach. <laughs> a dead three, uh, eternal. <laughs> Bye. He is dead. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is that. Uh, so Gathered Stag just sort of slumps against the wall. Captain Kiberian continues to wander the halls. Silas. <laughs> I'm going to attack the imp. Pretty good. <clears throat> I mean, as I turn, I'm going to kind of s use my feet to s scratch the kitty litter onto the dead body behind me. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to attack. Do I have advantage, disadvantage, anything of the sort? Nothing. Actually, like let me just remedy that. Um, if I move around, will I get advantage? Uh, my games, we do not no. get advantage for oh, uh, flanking. flanking. You do get a plus one. I oh, keep okay. trying. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I keep forgetting about the plus one. Oh, yeah. you would have hit then with a 17. Oh. Never mind. Uh, I'm afraid the seven does not manage to hit the imp. Anything else, Silas? Um, uh, while I'm there, I'm going to just go ahead and pivot around him and uh, lock good. him in if I can. So that's it. Very good. Good job. 
Excellent. That is Silas done. Back to Typhon. Well, all of this has happened. I'm just going to repeat what I have been doing. See if it works on an imp. Nope. I don't think 11 will Sorry, do it. 11 does not attack. Uh, you know. That brings us to do, 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 Jax. I'm the imp killer. Um, you are the imp killer. <laughs> can imp see me? Can I repeat the same action? Uh, you can try. Uh, 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 for a 19. Let's see. Uh, nope, he doesn't see you. Okay, I will sneak up for 5, 10, 15. Uh, bonus action move as well. Uh, trying to think. So I've already bonus action stealth, haven't I? So 5, yeah. 10, 15. So I'll have to go to there. I'll just throw my dagger at him then because I can't move any further, can I? All right. He is flying, so you would not have been able to hit him from the floor. Mm, 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 mm. Of course I can. Yeah, you got this. You got this. Uh, 18. 18 hits. For nice. 11 damage. And so he f- runs up Persephone's body. Right? <laughs> In my final, head, I was going to run on top of everyone's shoulders. and go The stabbing. final blow is yours. Cool. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, instead of what he would have done, he would have like climbed up on Falcon's shoulders and literally like... Uh, like you know, like jump on people's shoulders and, and just like with a dive bomb yeah. him. Very ninja warrior. Yeah. And he around falls my head underneath you and begins to sort of <laughs> melt away into a purplish, sticky tar-like substance. That's three imps I've killed now. <laughs> Rim. Uh, I turn around. What do I see? Uh, you see Shasra, but her arms are elongated somewhat, like she just uh, used some sort of strange attack upon you, and her eyes seem dull and alien. Uh, I, 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 I shout out loud, Milady, we're trying to help you. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm not going to attack her. I'm going to, uh, so... Can you, all right, explain to this noob the disengage action. It's just uh, an action, and if you okay. disengage, it means that she does not get an attack of opportunity when you when you leave her rage. Okay, uh, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to. So this this little piece of furniture situation that's uh, that's here behind mm-hmm. me. What's the height? What am, like? Can I? You get can over it you can jump over it without okay. too much trouble. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to. It's, it's considered difficult to rain. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, take a step southeast, and uh, uh, one, and two, gonna, and uh, and I will uh, say to the rest of the group, something's wrong. She's not all right. Um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to back further out this way um, to uh, allow other people to get into the room, and that right. would be the end of my turn. Do, 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 do. Imp is dead. Falkrun. All right. Uh, I am going to go ahead and move into the room after hearing. You see Rim. Lady Shastra Ravengard somehow on her feet and looking strange. Not that, entirely human. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get close to Rim and. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on him. Right. Oh, thank you. Roll that cure. Very good. Lovely. And that cures him for eight. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. Eight heals. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, God. I don't want to hit her with my spiritual war hammer. That just seems like a bad move. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna bring my war hammer up. Uh, in, I don't know, Sean is there? Well, yeah. So I'm just gonna bring the war hammer like up in front and sort of like put it in between us, uh, both uh, Rim, myself, and uh, Lady Shaswa. Okay. And sort of. So you're taking the dodge action. Yeah. Dodge action. Okay. You still have a spiritual weapon? 
Yeah, no, I'm sorry. That's what I was doing. I was bringing the the warhammer oh. up in between us to sort in of in between you. Got it. Sort of ward, I guess, a little bit. Very good. All right, and that'll be me. Okay. Thedrier, sort of. I don't know what to do. Is anybody hurt? Lady Shastra. What? Look. She. It's impossible. I. Uh, the animated armor just sort of stops moving, turns its head, turns its head the other way. Rhea Mantelmorn slumps in the hallway. Is everyone all right? Persephone, your turn. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Rhea. Uh, sorry, not Cure Wounds. I always forget which one I have. Healing Word. All right. Uh, so she gets six. She looks up to you and smiles. Thank you. Uh, and then I will start moving uh, 10, 20. Uh, I'm going to start moving to uh, go get uh, Astrellas, actually. All right. Persephone's done. So gather in stacks. What? The lady, where? she's all right? Captain Kyberian? Who's that? Silas. Oh, uh, sorry, after Persephone. After Persephone went, as Gathering was speaking, Jatra is here, looks at you all, and runs through the door. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man. Bye. Oh, that's fast. What? Do you do, Silas? Um, having not, uh, eh, my corner could see her running off. If I go corner to corner, I would have that visibility. Could I shout, "She's escaping"? Um. Well, it's there's enough people who have seen it happen. They're all okay. kind of like, Wah, ah. "Okay." <laughs> um. Wah, wah. I shake my head and I dash the other direction. All right. So let me. It's going to be another flight to the stairs. Off that balcony, isn't You're it? climbing down again, aren't you? We know it. <laughs> uh, that's faster, isn't it? <laughs> it is faster. Down I go. I, I Please, somebody cue Yakety Sax. Um, okay, it's a um, it's an acrobatic check if you just want to drop and slow your fall. Uh, I'm gonna try that. Alrighty. Well, possibly go wrong. Do I give an advantage having now done it so many times, so many reps? I've got. <laughs> you know what? That does make sense. You do have advantage. You know just uh, where to grab it. That's a ten and an eight. <laughs> you fall twenty feet. You take. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna die now, guys. Congratulations! I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually kidding? die from falling. You take seven points of bludgeoning damage. Way to look at that HP, there, buddy. Um, Was it seven? It's what you, you rolled an eight. Eight in total. Six. Didn't I say eight? eight? You just said, you said seven. 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Dead. You yeah. know, you did take. Eight. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if eight Whoa. is what I rolled, then eight is what you take. I'm sorry. I don't. I got a seven from somewhere else. I was looking at a seven when I said oh seven. Oh my god! So you are unconscious. Yeah. The, the DM <laughs> oh, encouraged no. me. You guys saw that. The DM encouraged me to do to do acrobatics <laughs> instead of athletics, and then killed right. me. So right. I'm dead. Who else has a god that they can? I'm sorry. I, I had a lot of things going on in my mind there. Uh. Just for the um, so we're like, so she's getting away, and all we hear is a wet smack. Of <laughs> 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 no. Crunch. I'll catch her! <laughs> Cue the Wilhelm scream and you rally is, it's Silas. Hi, Fun, your turn. Okay. Well, that's fun. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, I will whisper to Rim as I go by. Um, um, call off the armor so it doesn't attack us. Oh. Have it, right. order it to bring it, bring her back to her bed or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, 
Six. Do I see anything? You see Captain Kyberin. <sighs> He's standing right there. <sighs> Is everyone all right? So did the sorry. lady just go past you? Yes, yes, she did. Go after her! Restrain her! Immediately! What? She's uh, not in her right mind! She's possessed! Go, you fool! I do. <laughs> he will on his turn. Fine. Fine. <laughs> um, we're going to end combat there. Oh, man. Hmm. There is other things to do here in the Raven Guard Estate. But it has been successfully defended. And although there is still a mystery to be solved as to what exactly plagues Shastra Ravengard, our adventurers live to tell the tale. Well, Ooh. Ooh. Uh, well, well I'm except for Silas, us. who, as he lies there, slowly bleeding. <laughs> oh, thank God. Chasrik crawls across the floor to him oh, and yay. does a medicine check. And says, oh. and says roll d4. Minus <laughs> sta- <laughs> it stabilizes. Oh, 46, Silas. <laughs> dagger. Silas, dagger. Silas, you are unconscious but no longer dying. Oh. And that will be it for us. Thank you for sticking through this marathon. That was something else. Um, fun for me. Uh, but also extremely difficult, as I'm sure everyone else found it. Um, we will. It was pretty smooth, digest. I thought. Yeah. yeah. We'll digest. Good. Thank Remember you very kids, much. Don't throw flour on fire. Yes. <laughs> don't ever do that. And we will see you next time. Yeah. And if you want to kill your imps, you've got to be a goblin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>